I'm going to demonstrate the use of a sectional matrix and a clear custom matrix technique to save five to ten minutes on your next composite while improving the quality and doing this more easily. So in this demonstration we have just anesthetized the patient. While we're waiting for anesthesia we'll place a sectional matrix between the, the tooth the teeth that we're going to be working on, is in this case number 31. We're going to place a clamp on this tooth. We're now going to take an impression of the occlusal surface of this tooth prior to operating on it with a clear bite registration material. This goes very quickly. I trace the grooves of the tooth and get the embrasure between the band and the tooth and then as you can see when I take this away I have kind of a teepee of clear bite registration material there and to allow even pressure to be placed on this I'm now going to take a clear mylar strip lay it on this unset material and this is only to create a flat surface this is not to force it into the tooth, but only to create a flat surface so that later on in the procedure I can match up the flat end of my light curing bundle to the flat surface created here and create even pressure on this custom matrix when I cure through it to replace the original anatomy, surface texture, and occlusion. The material sets in about 45 seconds in the mouth, so by the time it's set, the patient still hasn't gained anesthesia, so you have not lost any chair time. The mylar strip comes right off, the impression being a polyvinyl siloxane bite registration material comes right off the tooth. I'd like to quickly show you the anatomy of this. This is a very exacting impression of the occlusal surface of this tooth that we can reproduce the unset composite later on in the procedure and allow an exact reproduction of the anatomy and occlusion and surface texture that the patient was comfortable with when they walked into the operatory. We've now operated on the tooth. We'll place a sectional matrix in place. And then we're going to wedge this. Now we're going to place the clamp back onto the tooth. If you have a new system that can restore the tooth at one time with composite, you can do that. The only trick with this technique is that you only want to place a slight excess of composite. Anything more than a slight excess will end up being flash. We're now going to condense this into the tooth and we're going to take away excess material because this is just ending up going to be flash. We remove excess material. And we think we're pretty close to where we need to be. If you were to look at this, you'd probably say we don't have enough composite in there. So now we're going to take the clear custom matrix and reseat it back on the tooth. It should fit like a glove. I put about five pounds of pressure on this while it forces the composite into the original shape of the tooth. I do this for five to ten seconds with my finger and then I'll take the light curing bundle, match it up with the flat surface created by the mylar strip, put some pressure on it as I cure through it, curing in the original anatomy, surface texture, an occlusion and creating a surface that is not air inhibited and needs no polishing, is hard and smooth.
So we cure this for the original amount of time, 20 seconds. And the proof of the pudding is right now. Let's probe these margins and the surface. Notice how smooth this surface is. There might be a little catch right here. But in essence, most of these margins are perfect. Notice the rounded marginal ridge here. Notice how smooth the surface is. This is going to need minimal shaping, or finish. it's going to need no shaping and minimal finishing. Maybe right here, a little bit of a catch. Maybe a little bit of catch right there. But the rest of these margins are very, very good. Let's see if we can focus in on this. Imagine after light curing, your composite looks like this. We'll take off the matrix band now. Or the sectional matrix. Now there appears to be a little flash right here. And maybe right over here. But in essence, most of our occlusion and anatomy is right there.